Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, I'm gonna have a shave with my Vikings Blade Emperor Adjustable Razor. This is the Frosted Chrome Edition. I'm gonna kick it off with the Art of Shaving's uh, pre-shave oil, sandalwood scent. Um, I'm gonna be building a lather using the Art of Shaving's sandalwood shaving cream. Uh, I'm going to be using my artisan shaving bowl to whip up that lather that I got that as a gift from my from my nephew uh, I'm going to be using my art of shaving badger brush to build that lather I'm going to finish it off with an Osma alum block and also some Pinot Clubman uh, aftershave and I have some of that decanted into a glass bottle here and maybe even a little bit of Lubriderm fragrance free for uh, Upstairs now. Why am I? Why do I have all this laid out? Well, because I came across a new razor blade. Well, new to me, uh, Concord razor blades. Now I did a little research, uh, sent out some emails, uh, you know, combed the internet. These are made by the folks at Derby. Derby razor blades. The folks who make Derby razor blades in Turkey. I believe it's in Istanbul, Turkey, where their factory is located. They make the Concord blade. Now, one supplier told me that it's identical. It's the same blade as the Derby Extra blade. I've heard that these are smoother than the Derby Extra, but they are not the same as the Derby Premium. Well, I'm going to use it. I'm going to find out. Uh, some folks, some wet shavers even say that these are a little bit softer than the Derby Extra razor blades. Some even compare them to the Bluebird razor blade. Uh, so that kind of gives you a point of reference. So we're gonna use the Concord razor blade to have the shave today. Let me get that out right now. Okay. Okay, there it is right there. And I'm just gonna set that down and open up my razor. Love this razor. Twist to open, adjustable, heavy weight, fat handle. It's wonderful, I love it. Okay, so here we are with uh, our blade. And this is coated. This is a coated blade. It's got the tungsten chromium poly coat that is on the Derby Extra and the Derby Premium. So there you are right there. Is that up? Is that the right side up? Yep, sure is. There it is, Concord blade. Can you see that? Okay, so all we're gonna do is just put it in there like that. How quick and easy is that? I love that. Okay, and uh, that's all the way open at nine right now. I'm gonna take that down to six. So I'm gonna start at six for my first pass, which is with the grain. And the shave also is going to give me an opportunity to answer a few questions that I saw on my channel. So let's wet the face and we'll get to those questions and uh, get going with the shave. Okay, let's get the uh, pre-shave oil, and this will lead us to the first question that needs to be answered. And uh, from viewer Johnny Mikes, I got it on my tablet right over here. Johnny Mikes asked about uh, pre-shave oil. Does the pre-shave oil have to go on wet skin? Well, yes and no. It just depends on your skin and also the viscosity of the oil. I have found that the Art of Shaving pre-shave oil is a lot thicker than other pre-shave oils that I've used. And I only use about three drops. And I find that letting the skin helps spread it out a little easier for me. And then maybe one more drop just to get a little extra there. So the Art of Shaving Pre-Shave Oil is a very, very good product. Again, its viscosity is a little higher than some of the others that I've used. Some of the others that I've used that are a little thinner. I don't need as much water to spread it around and help massage it in. But this is, but with the Art of Shaving, Pre-shave oil, yeah, for sure, I like to have a little bit of water on my face. Um, you know what, your miles may vary on that one. Okay, so let's get my artisan shaving bowl right here. Here it is right here, let's get some of that hot water and dump that out. Okay, that's all set, nice and warm. And let's get some of this Art of Shaving shaving cream, the sandalwood. 
And that will lead us to our next question. I'm going to get about that much to build a ladder. And I'm going to put it in there. Someone asked about the cost or said something about the cost of the art of shaving shaving cream. It is on the pricey side. I happened to buy um, this particular tub at Sam's Club and it was like $17. So I did save a good uh, eight bucks, something like that, versus buying it online, either through Amazon or the actual Art of Shaving uh, online store. So yeah, there are some deals out there for it. It is pricey, I realize that. But I don't use it every day. I only use it on you know special occasions, that sort of thing. I do go with some of the more um, affordable budget uh, shaving soaps and creams. Uh, they work just as well. They do. But this is a this is it's got a nice scent, and yeah, I like I like the action of it. I'm just gonna dip my uh, dip the tips of the brush in there a little bit because I shook, shook out a little too much water. And we're gonna go ahead and build a ladder. And this shaving bowl, folks wanted to know where I got this shaving bowl. I got it as a gift from my nephew, and he is an illustrator and a really talented kid. And uh, he happened to go to a local art gallery in Cleveland. It was the Alan Cradlick Art Gallery, the East 78th Art Gallery in the Cleveland area. And that's where he got this shaving bowl. So I'll have a link below to that art gallery and Alan Cradlick's actual studio link, link to his actual studio, so you can see what else he has there. He's a ceramic artist, and yeah, it really is terrific. It's got some great grip on it, and look how it look at how it <laughs> look at how it generated this lather. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so let's. Wow, there's a lot there. I mean, there's a swirling ridge on the bottom of this that just helps generate that ladder. It adds just enough friction to generate that ladder. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to paint that on. Boy, that's nice. That easy. Look at that. Okay, that's got it. I'm trying to move things along. I tend to over lather because I enjoy doing it so much. Uh, okay, so here I've got my razor. It's set to level six with the Concord blade in there. I'm gonna get some hot water and run it under some, run it under some hot water here and get a good and warm and then swirl it in the warm water and kind of bring it to temperature. Okay, so remember it's got this dual head here. So I'm going to start off with the um, uh, sculpted comb right here, which is a little more aggressive than the straight comb. So here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's a good aggressive setting for this blade, for sure. And yeah, right off the bat, I can tell that the, that the blade is a bit smoother than the Derby Extra. Okay, we're going to go to the closed comb side here for my neck. Which is just a tad milder. Yeah, very nice. Back to the sculpted side here. Okay, and I'm going to go to the straight bar side to uh, shave under the nose. That was nice, and the blade 
is very nice and smooth. A really nice coated smooth blade. Okay, first pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, that was a nice first pass. Very, very nice. Uh, the pre-shave oil really did its job in giving me a lot of extra, giving me an extra layer of protection there. But with the wet shave, you're taking your you're taking your beard down in stages, so you want to do at least two passes. Uh, ideally, depending on the razor, you have three passes, but you can you can do two passes, depending on the razor, the blade, the soap, the cream, the pre-shave oil, that sort of thing. Just remember to let the razor do all the work. That's all you have to do. Okay, we're gonna take this down from six, I'm gonna take it all the way down to four. I don't know if you can see that there. The lighting in here doesn't play too well with the chrome of the razor, but we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go on level four. And using the sculpted side, we're gonna go east to west across the grain. And I'm using the sculpted comb uh, throughout here. Boy, I love this razor. Love this razor. It's a nice, smooth blade. It really is. Very, very nice. For me, the lower setting of this razor, the milder setting, even though I'm on the sculpted cone, it is two notches down from six. Uh, it tames this blade a little more for me. It really turns down the aggression, even though there's some smoothness in there at the higher level, there was a pretty good degree of aggression on the sculpted side of this razor uh, for me. I am going to turn it to the um, straight bar side from underneath my nose. Okay, that's got. That's the first. That's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, I'm done. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I love this razor and that blade in there. Really was nice, nice and smooth, and it was really nice just for those uh, two settings for me, six and four. And I suspect that if I started with four, I could probably move it down to three, and then maybe two or one and a half, somewhere in there, and do three passes. Uh, again, I want to move the video along, uh, so I could probably could have done three passes under those situations. But really, all I needed was two passes, and that was nice, and that was a nice, smooth blade. And it did take me a little bit of rinsing here. Uh, to get a lot of the pre-shave oil off. It really does adhere. It just really stays with your shave even after two passes, which is a nice quality for that, um, for that pre-shave oil. Uh, again, that's why I use a little bit of water to help move it around and help massage it into my skin because uh, on a dry skin, it'd be a little more difficult for me. All right, we're gonna go with our two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse, and I'm gonna have to probably rinse a little longer in order to get a little more of the remnant of the pre-shave oil off. Here we go. Yeah, that uh, had to do some rinsing there to get that off. But uh, yeah, it gave me a lot of protection. Really, really nice pre-shave oil. Again, 
a little thicker, a little more viscous than a lot of other pre-shave pre oils I've used. They're all good, this one just a little thicker, and it, I think it just stays with the shave a little longer. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Nice, 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 nice. I got a fresh, clean towel waiting for me right here. Very nice. Wow. Uh, boy, that was a great shave. We're gonna go ahead with my Osma Allen block, see what kind of feedback we got. This razor blade, very smooth, very nice. Uh, wait till I tell you the price, okay? Hang on. Okay, some cold water there, and oh yeah, smooth as ice. Nice. No stinging, no zinging. That's, that's wonderful. Oh, that's great, that really is. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. So we're gonna pat this dry and uh, then put it in, uh, well, you've seen this before. I got my plastic dish right here and I got some other alum pieces in there, but I use this block on camera. And we're gonna put that in there and let that dry overnight and it'll be ready for, let it sit out in the air and it'll be ready for the, the next shave tomorrow morning. All right, now I'm gonna have to mop up a little bit. I'll let this set up a little bit. Again, some people, uh, some wet shavers uh, leave the alum on, some wet shavers rinse it off. I'm a leave it on kind of guy. Uh, that's what I do. Every once in a while, I will rinse it off depending on what kind of condition my skin is. If I think it's drying my skin out a little too much, that sort of thing. But I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to clean up a little bit. I'm going to uh, clean up this brush and uh, mop up a little bit here and I will be right back to uh, finish up the, uh, the shave. Hang in there. You know, I haven't used this uh, Badger brush in uh, quite some time because I love using synthetic brushes with uh, hard soaps and doing a face lather and that sort of thing. And this really cleaned up well. Look at that. It I was very surprised. It cleaned up very, very nicely. So uh, it's a nice quality Badger brush. Now, uh, I like using it, although I think um, uh, a little light in the handle uh, because I've become so accustomed to the Vikings Blade uh, Dark uh, stallion badger brush, which I think has, uh, you know, I like the alloy base and it's got a little more heft in the hand than this one. And the badger hairs are every bit as good as what you have here on the Art of Shaving. It's all in what you want. If you want something a little lighter, a little heavier, that sort of thing, and what you're willing to pay. Uh, I'm not sure of prices uh, on either one of these anymore because I haven't really checked. Uh, both nice, nice brushes, just no matter what, what do you want to do. You want one with a little heavier heft in the hand or something a little lighter. But uh, they're both very, very good. And I'm going to go ahead and just let that sit on my Vikings Blade Admiral razor and brush stand. Okay, here we go. We're going to go with some Pinot here. Pinot Clubman's got that classic scent. Boy, I love this stuff. And uh, here we go. Oh, that's great. It's got a little bit of bracing there too. A little bit of bracing action. That's a terrific, terrific scent. Love that. And a little bit of Luberderm, fragrance-free, three-in-one aftershave balm. Aftershave, hands, body, that sort of thing. That much there. And a little bit upstairs. Great shave. Wow, that was terrific. Uh, this is a nice blade. I found these on Amazon, 25 of them, for $4.99 with free shipping. Now, it took a little time to get to me, uh, but uh, they were worth it. I think they were worth it. So uh, you get three shaves with that. What is that, five, six cents a shave? Uh, something like that. Uh, the Derby Extra Blades are about eight bucks for 100. I think these are better. I think these are better than the Derby Extra. I think they are softer. I think they are a little bit smoother. There's something there. I don't know what it is. I think the price on these on Amazon, since I bought these, someone, either Amazon or a third-party seller, is selling these, I think with Prime as well, 
for about the $15.99 for 100 so that's a pretty good deal too. Um, but again, I think these are softer, smoother than the, uh, the Derby Extra. I really do. And I'm glad I used my uh, Vikings Blade uh, Emperor Razor, adjustable razor, to kind of take it through its paces. So I kind of knew where uh, the blade was uh, in aggression in relation to how aggressive or mild the razor was set at. I wasn't sure which razor I was going to use. I was thinking about maybe going with my Chieftain Junior or my Chieftain. Uh, but I thought, yeah, I'll use an adjustable razor and that way you can kind of gauge uh, what kind of uh, action the blade has. Smooth, very smooth at both settings that I had. Again, uh, if I had more time, I would have done a third pass. I want to move the video along. And usually a third pass is at like one and a half, two against the grain. Boy, is that enjoyable. And with this blade, I think it would have been super enjoyable. All right, hey, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I just, all I want to tell you about was these blades I came across, Concord blades. They're made by Derby from what I understand. They are smoother and softer. Then the Derby Extra, very, very close to the Derby Premium. Uh, I think I could use the Derby Premium or this interchangeably. Uh, it's a very, very nice blade. You know what? Maybe I'll do a shave off down the road and compare the two of them with uh, two adjustable razors at the same size, that sort of thing. That'd be interesting to see. Hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so I'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Have you used the Concord razor blade? Please let me know, I'm really interested in knowing. Uh, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.